How's it going guys? Dan here today with another Resident Evil video and today we're looking at Resident Evil Outrage. Now what is this game? If you haven't heard about it, there was a massive leak late last year, early this year, whenever it was, where Capcom, big leak, showcasing a bunch of their games in development, right? Resident Evil Outrage was one of them. It was slated for Q4 2021, which means later this year, towards the end of the year, Q for 2021. Also on that list was Resident Evil 4 Remake for next year Q4. We had Biohazard Apocalypse Q3 2023, another Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil Hank was on there. Plenty of Resident Evil games were on there as well as Street Fighter 6 and Final Fight. You can check out that uh, leak if you haven't already. So this game, Resident Evil Outrage, came out of nowhere. I've got a bunch of details, leaks, rumors here I'm going to go through. Again, some are rumors, so just take that into account. But by all accounts, this game is coming out and has been in development for a while. So from the sources I've talked to personally and the information that's out there, this game is coming. Whether it comes this year or not is another story, though. Because, you know, they do like to have a Resident Evil game every year for the last, you know, however long. Um, I think 2018, since 2015, only 2018 didn't have a game from memory. You can quote me. I'm pretty sure that's right. So, allegedly, Outrage is to star Rebecca Chambers and will hit late 2021 or early next year. It's going to be a third-person action survival horror. If you don't know who Chambers is, she's an advisor for the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance and former rookie member of the Special Tactics and Rescue Service assigned to STARS Bravo team, being in charge of medical needs due to her extensive knowledge in biochemistry she is one of the most underappreciated characters in my opinion of this series but still very loved she's popped up in the vendetta movie recently uh, resident evil 5 mercenaries umbrella chronicles resi zero resi one i think i'm covering them all there but she has parts in a lot of them and uh Again, a lot of people love this character, so there'll be some people, I don't know, a lot of you guys will be happy to see her as one of the main stars here. Now, apparently there was a playtest that happened, and this comes from the Biohazard cast. You can check them out. Take it with a grain of salt, but they've been right before, and I'm sure they'll be right again. There was a playtest involved. It was set in a college campus where Chambers is investigating the virus. Students and teachers in the campus are infected. They attack... Rebecca with school weapons. Rebecca starts with a knife only. Playtest took Chambers to a library where she attacked infected with scissors. The playtest was on Nintendo Switch using the RE engine. It was supposed to be revealed at the Capcom E3 conference a couple of weeks ago. But some speculate due to the village popularity, the DLC has now taken priority. That's interesting. Can they both coexist i don't know maybe they want to get the village dlc out and polish this other game out first or maybe they just simply weren't ready to show this off at the capcom e3 conference maybe it wasn't the right time i felt that this conference was a, a little bit lackluster maybe it needed something like this i'm not sure why capcom held all their cards close to the chest for that conference that's for another day but this rumors of a timed switch exclusive link up with the playtest being on nintendo switch and the switch has just gone from strength to strength this console is beaming right now it's incredible so resident evil timed exclusive on there makes a lot of sense for me personally especially with capcom's history with nintendo switch now some of these rumors that i'm talking about here come from dusk golem over on twitter make sure you follow him i'll leave his twitter link in the description he also suggests Revelations 3 and Outrage have been interchangeable, meaning the game could indeed be Resident Evil Revelations 3 or Outrage is the subtitle. So it's Resident Evil Revelations 3 Outrage. You see what I'm saying there? So the two pretty much are a mix of some sort. And so essentially this is Revelations 3. Now I haven't played 1 or 2, would you believe or not? Never played Revelations 1 or 2, so I will... Be uh, streaming them hopefully in the in the weeks to come. Now some background on Revelations one and two. They were developed by a studio known as Toes. I'm, I'm I'm butchering the name. I already know it. But anyway, work with me here, guys. They work secretly on games for companies in Japan. That's their goal, right? So they're one of these hidden studios that do a lot of work for people and don't get much recognition. But that's what that's what they're for, right? Now Rev one and two had 
key member of Capcom also working on those titles. Speculation says Resident Evil Outrage is the same. So that's very interesting. That apparently, again, rumors from Dust Golem, who's been right many times before, so I trust a lot of what he's saying. He's got a lot of great sources within the community. He says, the budget for Outrage is much bigger than previous incarnations, not far behind Village in terms of budget, and is treated as a bigger deal but it's not being worked on by Div 1 or M2. That's very interesting. The budget's been bumped up. Is it the success of the Resident Evil 2 remake? Is it the success of Village? Is it the success of Resident Evil 3? Even Resident Evil 3, critically, not as not a darling like 2, but still sold very, very well from all accounts. So they're pumping the money in, it seems. To these games to keep them all at a high level because let's be honest the mainline games were usually had a bigger budget than these spin-offs it was just how it went so maybe now this revelation series or outrage the budgets seems to be much bigger so basically the game's been in the works since 2017 four years is a meaty decent time to be working on a game and i'm really keen to see it revealed from all account we've got so much so many rumors and, and speculation. Another rumor just came out a couple of days ago of a second playable character being Leon. Leon Kennedy is the second playable character. Maybe Nick comes back and he's duking me in the interview I did a couple of weeks ago. He's been working on it. Who knows? He was a little bit... He had something that he wasn't telling him. I know that... I, I, I just... I love the guy, but I know he was up to something, so... <laughs> I don't know, but I can't wait. You know, there's so much in this Resident Evil universe to look forward to. The show's coming out in a couple of weeks. The Netflix show, you've got Outrage, you've got the the Village DLC, you've got Resident Evil 4 Remake. So much to look forward to in this series, and even Resi 9. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. I hope you are too. I'll keep you updated with this game, Outrage. Any information on any Resident Evil games, you can keep it locked here with Dan Allen Gaming. As always, guys, I hope you appreciate it. I'll see you for my interview with The Hag, a.k.a. Carol. That's going to happen Friday, 3 p.m. PST on the channel. Her first ever exclusive interview on YouTube. I hope you'll join me. Thanks, guys, and take care.